Ladies and gentlemen, Cage of Warriors Academy presents three free minute rounds in the amateur bantamweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing Tsunami Norfolk, Taylor Mills. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 135 pounds, representing front line Muay Thai, Alex Kittersan! Bantamweight action here then in Colchester between Taylor Mills, Owen one out of Tsunami Norfolk. Serious back down in striking in those all black shorts. And his opponent making his debut, Alex Kittleson out of frontline Muay Thai in those Muay Thai shorts with the gold trim. Here we go, three three minute rounds if we need. And these guys are not wasting any time either, Nick. No, it's like rock'em sock'em robots. Taylor was able to get on that double and get it down to the mat. And Mills then gets the takedown. Working out Tsunami Norfolk with Lee Dosky and Tariq Pell, who's in our main event, and Andre Gonsalves rounding out that game. I say he's got a serious striking background, but right now he's making Kittleson carry the grappling. And Alex did a good job of getting back to his feet. Oh, Ooh, nice head kick by Taylor. And that's what I'm talking about. He's got some serious hands, this kid, and kicks. Good chin by Alex, though. He took one straight off of the chin and a couple jabs, and he just stood right in front of him. So Taylor Mills giving Alex Kilson a baptism of fire here in his debut. And he's got him back on the ground again. And I mean, Alex was good to work back to that full guard, and then he's controlling the posture of the head, trying to reach up, use that reach that he has to be able to kind of lock it down. And he's already looking for a sweep. There's that arm bar. Looking for the oh, arm. it's deep. And this is danger for Taylor Mills. And Taylor Mills was able to break that grip. But that's a warning. Taylor's got to watch, though, to make sure he can step across, which he does. Kind of gets himself out of potential uh, triangle choke trouble. So and a Kitt good job of settling in now in side control. So Kittleson sends out the warning. Mills learns from it, and now has the side control position here as we approach 1 minute 15 of the first round remaining. Good start this from Mills. I like what Alex is doing though. He's, he's not sitting still. He's trying to figure out a way. He's, he's fishing that arm underneath, trying to get some movement going to where he can figure out a way to not only not take damage, but also try to get his hips up underneath him and possibly get some either back to guard or get his back up against the cage to start to work up. And Taylor just in a good lockdown mode here, grinding his forearm across Alex's face. Making it unpleasant here for Kittleson as Taylor Mills. I see really wiping his elbow across the face. And now landing some hammer fists from the top as well. And again, Alex trying to work to Use that cage to stand up. Wow, this is frantic exchanges. Taylor Mills bouncing on those feet, looking to pepper Kittleson. Now Kittleson is the one that goes to the takedown. And Alex in on that single leg. He's got to be careful not to take too much damage. Mills pressing forward as the round ends. Another big right hand, followed by the head kick. He's pouring it on here, Taylor Mills. And he's just going to run out of time. Impressive opening round there from Taylor Mills. And Second of three three-minute rounds if we need them. We haven't needed any of them yet. Not gone the distance. I don't know if there's something happening tonight we don't know about, Nick, but no one is wanting to stay around. They want to get their business done quickly. And Taylor Mills has come out and immediately looked for the takedown. And he's going to get a big slam. And he does it right into his corner so that he can sit and listen to Lee. Lee doesn't have to scream and yell across the cage. He can just talk to him and tell him what he needs to do to finish this fight. Great fight IQ there from Taylor Mills. He's literally next to his head coach now as he looks to press home the advantage on Alex Kittleson. And Alex doing a good job of trying to use those legs to kind of push off the cage. But Taylor doing a good job of just pressing that forearm right against the chin, making it miserable to be on bottom here. And for Taylor Mills, you might want to look to crucifix position here.
Alex. He's still bridging up. He's trying to figure out a way to kind of. Nice knees to the midsection there from Mills. Alex doing a good job of blocking to see if there's going to be a step over for Mount. Again, Taylor's just nice and tight, putting all the pressure up on Alex, forcing him to expand a ton of energy to try to move out of this position. His own knees again. You can literally see Tariq and Nidoski kind of pointing and instructing Taylor through this position. And Alex doing a good job of trying to circle back into him. There he goes, he's got back to half guard. He's gonna look to try to sweep that leg through, get back to guard. He's got a lockdown on that leg now for that half guard. And again, trying to sweep through to get back to that guard using the butterfly. Good work though from Kittleson here. As you say, working his way all the way back to guard. Now he's back to far guard. It'd be interesting to see if he tries to throw up another arm bar attempt or if he's gonna look for something like a triangle by controlling one of those far wrists. And he was now looking to run down those hammer fists again. Kittleson looking to get back to his feet. Mills denies him though, keeps him on the mat. With 10 seconds left. Looks like Alex is gonna be right here on the bottom, but oh, oh, oh that was close. That was close, but both fighters still standing in the pocket. Alex took an, another shot right against the chin and kind of just shook it off. Yeah, he looked a bit wobbly at the end. That was really close to being an illegal kick though, wasn't it? Are we gonna see a decision for the first time tonight? Taylor Mills hopes not, Alex Kilson hopes not. We shall see. Third and final round, Taylor Mills, Alex Kittleson here. Cage Warriors Academy 30 in Colchester. Mills straight away takes the center of the cage and looks to tenderize his man with that punishing stand-up striking. Ooh. He's thrown that big right head kick a lot and he's landed it a few times as well. Great chin though as you say from Kittleson. Taylor doing a good job on that one too. Looking to set up that shot. And there oh, it is. There we is. go. Anyone would think you were a coach, Nick. <laughs> I already have to wake up early enough on Sunday mornings. <laughs> That's the coach, Nick Albert, right there. And Taylor Mills has followed his instructions to the T here in this round. But again, I like what Alex is doing. He's trying to figure out a way to get back to that guard position. He's constantly working, looking to frame away those hips, get that leg inside. He was able to go now back to half guard. Taylor's just doing a good job of putting his head in the right place, listening to Lee, because Lee's in his corner just talking to him, not yelling to him, just talking to him. And he lets him back up, and he's going to go straight back on the shot. And again, put Kittleson on his back. And he looks to try to step over. Alex doing a good job trying to lock in that guard. Again, he's got that half guard locked down, but he, this, he's not going to win the fight from here. If he can at least get back to guard and start throwing up some submissions, you have the possibility there. But laying flat on his back with a minute 20 plus. Mm. He was pretty close in the first round, wasn't he, with the arm bar, but that's really the, the closest he's been, the only submission attempt we've seen him throw up. And he's gonna need something special here now. Coming up to one minute 15 left in this fight. He, he needs the stoppage, no matter how he can find it. And Taylor doing a good job of just locking him down. Now he's talking to him. Now he's telling him, saying something into his ear. I'm not sure if Taylor speaks Norwegian. So we can only imagine what they're saying to each other in there. But Taylor at the moment certainly on his way to a win here. And again, Taylor stepping over, going body, body, head. Looking to try to isolate that arm. If he can isolate that arm, he's gonna posture up and try to land some punches from this position. And again, the front line trying to get him to get back to full guard. Is he gonna let him back up? He does, and he immediately goes back on the offensive. Taylor Mills looking for the finish. 
And that's a knee to the head. And now he's going to get a warning for that. Not allowed a knee to the head in amateur, Muay Thai, in amateur MMA, of course. And the fact that Alex just took kicks to the head, knees to the head, multiple punches, shakes it off, just shakes his head, says, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Some chin on this Alex Kittleson. But now he needs a Hail Mary shot with 15 seconds left, Nick. He's got to launch something. I mean, this is where you just... If you have something in the gym like a crazy Superman punch or crazy Roll, kick or... Rolling thunder, that'll be the time. Anything that you can do with 10 seconds left, you just spinning back elbows, spinning back fists, something. Yeah. Time is just going to run out on him, though. It's going to finish with Mills, as it has been for a lot of the fight in the ascendancy. Impressive display there from Taylor Mills. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards who scored the bout 30-26, 30-25, and 30-27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Taylor Mills!